Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and super fun. So I am going to be kind of doing a review slash fresh impressions of the Morphe Sour Patch Kid palette. I got this a while ago. It's been sitting in my freaking drawer and I was like, you know what? I really got to use it. But at this point, reviewing it is kind of pointless because you guys have either decided you want it or you don't. But I need to use it and I thought it'd be fun to use. And I'm going to be doing, I wanted to kind of do a Q&A, but then I didn't want to wait, like ask everyone a bunch of questions. So I decided I was gonna do a random question generator on the internet and so basically what I'm gonna be doing is while I'm doing my makeup and all that fun shit I'm going to be getting random questions asked to me by the internet I just thought it would be super fun kind of way to kind of get to know me but also like just have fun and do makeup and talk because that is kind of what my whole channel is about so if you are new here hi I'm Jamie B but we do makeup, we talk, we have fun. We do all the beauty shit without all the drama and scandal situation. Everything that I put on my face, if I don't say it, it will be in the description down below, always. So this is the palette. Ooh, she's pretty. It doesn't have a mirror and it doesn't really matter because I have a mirror here, a mirror here, a monitor here. So the first question is, have you ever seen a movie that you thought was better than the book? Fun fact, I don't like to read. Uh, I, I know how to read. I don't like to read. It's just not something I enjoy to do. So in my opinion, every movie is better than the book. I'm going in with orange craze in the palette. It's a very bright orange. And I'm gonna start doing that on my outer corner and a little bit above. Next question. So the next question is what makes you cry? I mean, in like a serious way or like sad movie situation. I don't know, I'll go with sad movie situation because like in a serious way, like obviously my loved ones being hurt or something happening to my children, that would definitely make me cry. But like in a movie situation, it's so weird and people judge me and you're probably gonna judge me. When animals like die and stuff in movies, it doesn't make me cry, okay? I'm not a psychopath. It just doesn't, I don't have that animal love or bonds, but if something happens to children in movies, I am just like a wreck. And like, I love my kids, but I'm not like a big fan of like all children. I just, I don't know what it is, man. When something happens to children in movies, I just kind of get really, really upset and I cry. Maybe it's because I kind of just relate it to like my children or whatever, but it's just always been that way. Mountains or oceans? Oof. I don't know, man, because... <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't like uh, to swim in the ocean. I don't want to be near creatures at all. And then the fact that I also don't want to walk up mountains. So I'm gonna say neither and I'm gonna cheat and say woods. Like the forest and that kind of stuff is more up my alley than I feel like either of those are. What do you like most about your family? I feel like my favorite thing about my family is that we've always been there for each other. Now that can obviously, it can cause some issues, but it has a tendency to cause less issues. And I just love that we've always been so close to each other when it comes to like living where my kids don't have to like, you know, travel or fly away to see their aunts and uncles. We're all like right here. So I really, really like that. So I'm going in a pink strawberry, by the way. I'm placing that in the crease crease, the legitimate crease, and then the outer corner. Oh, I like this. It's actually a pretty pigmented palette. So I'm gonna go back in with that orange real quick and I'm gonna blend where I put the pink. So if it looks like it's a little patchy, it is not. I am having like super bad flare ups ever since Halloween. And I think it's because I ate stuff I wasn't supposed to on Halloween. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know. I think that it's just really, Ever since Halloween, like it's just been flaring up so bad and it's just so peely and dry. Who was your favorite teacher? Oh, easy. Her name was Miss Carol, fifth grade. She was literally my favorite teacher. She is the teacher I will never forget for the rest of my God-given life. She was the coolest teacher. She was the funnest teacher. She was that teacher that really tried to relate with kids. I'm also going into lemon squeeze. Sorry, I'm kind of getting sidetracked, which is the yellow. It looks green because I have blue on there. It's stained, but it's yellow. I'm not going in with the yellow. I don't think I like it. She was the teacher that basically everybody wanted because she was so cool and laid back, but like she also held you accountable and was really like interested in you being successful. I don't know. I just absolutely freaking loved her. I still remember her to this day. I think she's married and has a different last name and I don't know it, but 
I don't know. She was just really, really freaking awesome. I will say my son's fifth grade teacher that he had, she was also like that. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she would want me to say that, but she reminded me, and I think that's why I liked her so much for my son, and I was so happy, because she reminded me of the, of Miss Carol. Like, she just, that's the type of person she was. She cared about more than just, like, learning, you know, what was in the books. It was more about life and just so many other different things that are important than just, hey, 2 plus 2 is 4. Maybe it's just 5th grade teachers, man. Let me know who your favorite teacher was. What grade was it? Was it 5th grade? Are we on the same boat? If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Invisibility. Don't invisibility. <laughs> I have anxiety. So if I could just melt away when I'm having an anxiety attack or I'm having a sensory overload, which is a lot of the times, I that would be <laughs> so good. <laughs> so invisibility every time. Anytime anyone ever invisibility. Like just don't even fit in visibility. Okay. Who what who else is saying something else? Alright, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. If I want to do shimmer or if I want to put some yellow. Like do like a um I think I want to do super pink. I think I'm going super pink, guys. Okay, what's the next question? Who inspires you to be better? I don't know. I know this is gonna sound so weird. I don't know that anyone inspires me. I think that there's a lot of people who have inspired me to like follow my dreams and stuff like that you know different obvious youtubers or people in my life but I don't think that I really have a person that I can say oh you inspire me to be better I will say that my kids motivate me to be better so if that's kind of the same then my kids but when it comes to inspiring me I mean a lot of people inspire me to do a lot of things but I don't know that any of them would inspire me to do better is that weird? Is it weird that I don't have someone that inspires me to do better? I feel like that's weird. Pizza or tacos? Pfft, tacos. Uh, giving you a fun fact here about me, I don't really care for pizza. It's not my jam. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying that pizza is terrible and I never eat it because I have. I just not really into pizza. I don't really like tomato sauce, so white pizza is okay, but I just don't, it's not my thing. When was the last time you changed your opinion about something major? Oh, okay, something major? So I was in college and I got my bachelor's in social work and instead of going for my master's, I was going to go to law school. And I took the LSATs and everything and I did really well. You're welcome. And then I said, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do YouTube. I'm done. <laughs> so one, I kind of feel like it was definitely something that I wanted to do. I, I still do. I don't regret not going to law school. Um, I do love law and I do love learning different laws and learning legal jargon. But I just feel like it wasn't my journey. It wasn't my journey. I love being creative. I love being on YouTube and not even just makeup wise. I'm just that type of person that loves to be a people person. So I love to talk to people when it's like internet wise, okay? Social anxiety here. But I love to inspire people. I love fun things and creative. And I feel like filming, whether it's beauty or it's another niche, like it's just so fun to create. So if I can do something that follows my dreams and you know, be creative and I make money along the way, I mean, I have a decent job. Like you guys know, if you're not new here, then you know that I have a job outside of YouTube, but I just, there was no need for me to do that. I didn't want to do it. It wasn't who I was and I just decided to do my own thing, man. And so I never pursued law school. <laughs> All right, so I'm going into some funny questions here. Is cereal soup why or why not? What? <laughs> um, in my opinion, no. Soup is usually something you eat warm. So I would not classify cereal as soup and I would also not heat cereal up. Tell me what you think. Is cereal soup yes or no? What is the sexiest and least sexiest name? Oh my god. Are names sexy? Is that a thing? This is funny and kind of silly. I feel like if I don't say Steven, <laughs> I'm gonna 
be in trouble. So I'm gonna go with a female. I'm gonna choose a female option because I feel like if I don't say my husband's name, he's gonna be like, oh, okay, good to know. I'm gonna go into my face before obviously I do my under eye. So I'm gonna say the female name that I find to be like the prettiest name is definitely Isabella. I don't know why I have my whole life and I just think it's just so beautiful. It just rolls off the Isabella. Like it's such a beautiful name. What is the least sexiest name you can think of um, female wise? I'm gonna say like Gertrude and I'm so sorry if your name is Gertrude. Please don't be mad at me, okay? I don't mean it like that. It's just not. Anytime I hear that name, I just immediately assume that this person is just like this not fun, not, I don't know. We're gonna stop there. I just don't like the name. So if your name is Gertrude, I apologize. Don't be mad. So the next question is, what secret conspiracy would you like to start? Ooh, I would say none. And let me say why. My whole channel is like based on no drama, no scandals, whatever, because I'm not into that kind of stuff. Like I just don't, I don't want to hear about conspiracies or this person said this or this person said that. So it's just not my jam. So I'm going to say none. Who starts a conspiracy? How do you start a conspiracy? So weird. I'm sure people have done it. What invis what's invisible, but you wish people could see? I'm gonna go deep with this one and I'm gonna say lies. I want you guys to understand my level okay. of dislike for liars is like a hundred. Like obviously no one likes a liar but like there are so many things you can do to me and I can kind of just be forgiving and empathetic. Lying to me is not one of them. That's not, I am not a fan of lying. So that's definitely, I would like to be able to see that someone is lying. I don't know if that counts but it's invisible and it's something I'd like to be able to see. I can be like oh you're lying. Caught you. What is the weirdest smell you have ever smelled? Oh so when you, if you have like costume jewelry or silver that is tarnished okay and I know you guys know what I'm talking about and they get this like oniony rusty smell and I hate it like I absolutely cannot stand that smell and it's just the weirdest thing and the weirdest smell but if I touch something that is like tarnished silver or something and it's stinky I will smell it on my hands for the next freaking two days even if I wash my hands like constantly it just sticks in my nose and I can't get it out and I hate it is a hot dog a sandwich why or why not are we talking like hot dog on a bun because if we're just talking a hot dog then no if we're talking hot dog on a bun I'd say yeah I would definitely say yeah I mean it's bread and there's meat between it but in the same fact, would a hamburger be a sandwich? No, because a hot dog is like kind of in that same realm of lunch meat. So I'm gonna say yes. I would say that it is a it is a sandwich as long as there's a bun involved. What's the best Wi-Fi name you've seen? I like the one, it was on Facebook like years and years ago and it was like FBI Wi-Fi ban or something like that and like people like spread it around. And it was just like a person who had done it, but it was all over Facebook long, long time ago. People still joke about it, but, and I think people still put that. I've also seen, um, get your own Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I've seen quite a few. Uh, mine is just boring. So, you know, it's not great, but. I wish that I would have the courage to come up with something funny, but I'm always afraid like my neighbors will find out that it's me and then be like, you're such a child. <laughs> what is something that everyone looks stupid doing? TikToking in public. I'm gonna say, and I do it. Okay, I do it. Uh, but definitely TikToking in public because we all know what we're doing and we all know what everyone else is doing when they're doing it. But like when I see people TikToking in public and even myself, I'm probably like these people think I'm so freaking stupid. Like I look stupid talking to my phone, dancing, doing these, nee, 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 you know, the transitions and stuff like in public. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic over? I think people will be nostalgic over our phones I think that obviously our phones will be like super super techie uh, I mean look at it now like when we think about the razor like we're like oh the razor 
dancer. Probably like TikTok dances. I know that sounds silly, but like it's gonna be something different. We're gonna be like, remember back when we did TikTok? Um, anything social media wise is gonna be nostalgic. I guarantee you Facebook will have like a new competitor and Facebook will turn to MySpace and then it's just not important. Um, and probably movies, obviously movies. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Stop right there. Pineapple, it's not going pizza. I don't want to oh. hear, it's a personal pre- No, it's a disgusting preference. If you don't like it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I cannot, me and my friend, me and a friend of mine, um, we like get into it, okay? Because I do not, I repeat, do not like pineapple on pizza. To be fair, to be fair, I do not like fruit with regular food. So I don't put fruit in my salad. I don't put fruit on my pizza. I don't, none of that. No, 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 no. So no, no it does not. Tell me down below if you agree or disagree. It's totally fine. We love each other. Everyone has a different opinion, but it's a no. It's, it's just a no. What kind of secret society would you like to start? Ooh, I would like to start like a makeup secret society, like a legit makeup secret society. Like if you are not a lover of makeup, you are not one in. You know what I mean? Like if you don't love makeup, it's totally fine. But like where we just do makeup on like Saturdays or something and drink wine or I don't even fucking drink wine. You know what I mean? Just like, I don't know. I think that like keepers of the makeup, that's pretty lame now that I've said it out loud. Disregard. I don't know. Toilet paper over or under? Oof. Um, this is gonna, this is gonna ruffle some feathers, okay? I know it is, so prepare yourself. I don't care. <laughs> I, my husband hates it so bad that I don't, I don't care. When I get the toilet paper, I put it on the roll. It goes how it goes. If it's up, if it's under, if it's whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I, it's chaos, apparently, to him. But it's also chaos to him that I go, when I put my shoes on, I go, sock, shoe, sock, shoe. He goes, sock, sock, shoe, shoe. And he says that I am a psychopath for doing that. And I just feel like, now he's always joking, obviously. But for me, it's just, why, if I'm working on one foot, right? If I'm working on one foot, why would I half the job and then go to the other foot to do half that job, to go back to the other foot to finish the job, to go back to the other foot to finish the job. I just never got the, I never got the understanding, if you will, of why people go sock, sock, shoe, shoe, instead of sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Doesn't make any sense to me. And the whole toilet paper situation, I don't care. If there's reasoning behind it, I need you guys to let me know. Like, legitimate, is there reasoning as to why you care? Is it just proper? Like, do I not, am I not an etiquettely educated human? Is it a proper thing? Is it just kind of, like, a reason? Like, is there a reason we care how our toilet paper's put on the roll? In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? This was a very random question. Um, one sentence. Uh, connection ability. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. Whatever. That was one sentence. That's all I got. <laughs> connection ability. Oh my god. What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn? Um, cotton printed leggings. Back in the day, if you will. Back in the day. Uh, I used to think the printed leggings were okay, and if you ask my friend Jenny now, she knows how I feel about printed leggings. They're for children. Um, that's personal opinion. So for me, I just, I hate, 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 hate printed leggings of any kind on adults. All right, so I'm going back into my eyes for my under eye situation, and then I am going to be doing... I'm gonna do that hot pink, that strawberry, pink strawberry. So the next question is, which body part would you detach and why? My hand would definitely be my hands because I would be able to scratch every itch on every part of my body. So I have short hands, right? Like y'all know that, you can see that I have short hands. Um, and there are some times where I can't get to certain places, like on my back, 
and I hate it. So I would love, love to be able <laughs> to scratch every part of my back. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? I don't know because I'm really weird about like who I let at my house and I feel like none of my siblings or friends have ever done anything weird. I mean, I guess I've been asked like if I have a bathroom like that, like, do you have a bathroom? No, we poop outside. Yes, I have a bathroom. What inanimate object do you wish you could eliminate from existence? Oof. Um, inanimate object. Treadmills. <laughs> I really hate cardio, so I just want you guys to understand that. I like working out. I'm a workout kind of person, but I prefer to lift weights. I hate cardio. I think that it's good for your heart, and that's all it's good for. So. We only have a few more because I'm almost done my makeup. I'm just putting on some mascara. Okay, we're gonna put on some lashes from Lunar Beauty because I love them. So I decided to go super big lashes today and I am in between. I really, really love these lashes, but I'm just like, whoo, they're heavy. These are the Nova lashes from Lunar Beauty. We're finishing up here. We've got the lips. The lips and then we're done if peanut butter peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter what would it be called uh if it wasn't called peanut cream peanut, peanut mush peanut mash what is it that people like? Peanut casserole? I don't freaking know. That's a weird question. I don't really care for peanut butter. What movie would greatly improve if it was turned into a musical? None. Not a single one. No. I cannot stand musicals at all. I, it's just not my vibe. I really don't know how I feel about this lipstick. I mean, I guess it's fine right it's fine so we're gonna do I'm done I'm done my makeup is done we're gonna do one more question to close it out also before I do that um this palette was okay I think it was really fun it was really pigmented it is your normal morphe colorful palette the only thing that I think are different than a lot of the usual palettes are these shimmers and I believe that ones like these were in the Nikita palette they're very shifty and duochrome but they are definitely more of a consistency of a topper so they look really pigmented right there but when you oh that one's not bad see they wind up being just not very pigmented on their own this one is I wish I would have used that one that's actually stunning but they're just not as like pigmented as I want so I would prefer to use them as a topper I might actually go into that darker one though because that was actually really really nice I did not expect that at all but it's just another colorful Morphe palette if I'm being 100% honest with you guys it's definitely not a must-have it's cute I think it was like 18 bucks I'll put the price somewhere for you but it's definitely not a must-have it's cute though and I think like a kid will like it or something Christmas is coming check it out but okay so the last question to finish this super fun video out and I hope it kind of like give you guys a laugh but also kind of let you get to know me and my thoughts and like the things that go on in my noggin up here um so the last one is okay what is something that is really popular now but in five years everyone's gonna look back on and be embarrassed by i want to say a couple of things uh tiktok okay tiktok you know we think it's real cool now but like when we look back in a couple of years and we're like what the fuck were we thinking okay two um straight across bangs i said what i said uh right now that's really trendy to be cutting your bangs just like and i just think i, I think that it's not um and then at home haircuts okay at home haircuts are like the thing right now because of tiktok but believe me i think that we're definitely gonna look back in five to ten years and be like why the fuck did i cut my hair at home like a unicorn so those are the it's like some of the things there's lots of things that i think that we do um as a whole that's probably really freaking embarrassing to our later life selves but enjoy your life 
enjoy the moment enjoy right now if there's anything I could give you advice on don't worry about five years from now I mean like it's not it's five years from now yes obviously if you have a future to plan whatever if you plan on school I'm not saying forget about that but just don't worry about things like that what's gonna be embarrassing in five years what's not gonna matter in five years because it all matters right now and that's all that matters to you you know what I mean it's all that matters is what you care about right now in five years we can worry about it then I just thought that this video would be super fun to do one because we love makeup I mean if you're here, you at least like watching makeup being put on. But and two, just kind of getting to know me in my quirky ways. But my channel is a very safe place for everybody of all kinds, of all thoughts and freedoms and wills and ideas and beliefs and whatever. And I just want you guys to always know that. And I thought that this would just be something super fun to do and random while I'm doing my makeup and kind of just talking with you. But I always want you to know that this is just this channel is just all about beauty. We don't do drama, we don't do scandals, we don't talk about people, we just enjoy life and makeup. Like it's just, it, the two go hand in hand for me. Life and makeup, okay? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was something different. I hope it wasn't a bust. I hope you're not like, who the fuck cares how you put your toilet paper? But I hope you did enjoy it. Um, make sure you guys comment down below any like questions that I asked you specifically. Obviously when I go, hey, comment down below. Like the toilet paper situation, pineapple on pizza, any of the questions that I asked, if you want to, answer them down below. I'd love to see everyone else's ideas and opinions. And as always, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. I love you. Bye-bye.